Across the films, the fundamentals of the plot differ from the novel in consistent ways. Moreau, by whatever name, makes monstrosities and the monstrosities go nuts, serving as both rampaging monster and retributive villagers at once, and kill him as he richly deserves. The details that deviate from the novel and make this plot into don't meddle are quite consistent. The project's goal is typically more grandiose, including improving upon humanity rather than arriving at it, outdoing or overcoming evolution, and in at least one case, eradicating evil. Beyond straightforward questions of ethics, something is psychologically very wrong with Moreau in some combination of hubris, sexual perversion, active or inadvertent sadism, bullying, and impulsiveness in his experiments. There's always a kick the dog moment or a revelation of past wrongdoing at the very least. His demeanor varies, but always along the mad scientist scale, whether psychopathic coldness or dysfunctional paternalism. He often turns toward Prendick as a research subject. The work is explicitly called abominable in various phrasings, which to be fair happens in the novel too, but here it's a simple identifier that I infer to be authoritative and to which Moreau has no meaningful reply.